This is the group conversation on A Prayer for Own Mini by John Irving, uh, presented by Liz Style, Josh Zavala, Matt Stobby, Tyler Hill, hey. and Robbie James. And you have to mention what page we're up to. We are up to page number 255. Okay. All right, guys, so we need to have our discussion. Have our discussion about how this book connects to either of the three ideas truth, beauty, or conflict. Um, well, one conflict that seems to be evident during one of the plays is Owen's conflict with his parents because he becomes very upset seeing them at the church because they're Catholic and it was an Episcopalian church, right? Yeah. yeah. And also, yeah. he was something else. Well, he also didn't want his parents. He just doesn't want them there because for some reason he, like, always controls them and he told them not to go so he's really mad that they like well, came in but yeah. I mean I think that's, that's not just the conflict of that part I think that's been the conflict throughout the book just families in general whether it's Owen's family or Johnny's family they've all uh, seem to have weird connections whether it's with the cousins or you know unfortunate events where uh, you know John ends up losing his mom and stuff like that I think family has kind of been dysfunctional throughout the entire book very 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 dysfunctional yeah and it seems like the the closest relationship isn't even by blood. It's between John and Owen, who aren't even, like, related. But they act like they're closer than brothers are. Do you think that through all the dysfunction with the families, and uh, Dan Needham, and, you know, uh, Owen and his parents, that there's a little bit, just like, some sort of beauty behind it? Is there, no, like, I no? don't think there's any no beauty, beauty because... because I'll, I'll say there's a truth. Oh, Yeah. There's no doubt there's truth. Okay, because but why isn't there any beauty? Uh, it's beautiful in a weird way. Why? I don't, I don't think so. You don't think just... I don't think there's any beauty in A family whatsoever. isn't like a cool thing. Like, Owen's family, not so much. Owen's family's all sorts of messed up. I don't know if that's beautiful. Johnny doesn't have a family, pretty much. Uh, I think Johnny, like, the way Dan's taken him in, has, like a son, has been, to a degree, beautiful. Because, like, th- there's some kid who... He marries his Johnny's I mother, but has no like right. reason to want to stay with him. But still, like has these feelings for him. I think it's like <coughs> that's, that's pretty that's, awesome. Like he feels the responsibility yeah. that um, Johnny's mom had towards Owen. Yeah, towards Owen too. Yeah, and I think you can see that Dan's role is increasing as we continue to read through the book. Um, yeah, because moment I think on page two thirty. Yeah, where he says Dan is. I mean, I don't know the exact words, but he says that he, he's most concrete and a hero, or becoming a hero. Um, that was when Dan carried out his responsibilities as a stepfather in most concrete, even heroic terms. So I think Owen's really starting to like Dan more, and I feel like before he kind of had to be around Dan, and Dan was kind of just there. And now I feel, because of what happened, that, that his role in the book and in uh, John's life has increased. I feel like he's also starting to take on like a real father figure role, which right. is good for him considering he's someone who grew up never knowing his father and he just lost his mother, so he kind of needs someone. And like I think great. that Owen finds tons of beauty in Johnny's family because he always talks about how he, like, their family, and on page 182, he talks about how, like, they're talking about how Owen doesn't know that much about Christmas. And, um,. He talks about how he's like <laughs> never celebrated it. <laughs> Owen never celebrated or Johnny never celebrated? Owen. Owen. Because he didn't know like the basic things that you right. know. And so I think that it's Owen's really, sense. yeah, like really jealous of Johnny's like family, even though it's kind of like to us, it's we think it's not that big of a deal. But to Owen, who has even less of a family like atmosphere. So maybe that's the beauty of Tyler. <laughs> Someone else just had to say it differently for it to work. Yeah. I mean, I, I personally don't think that there's a beauty. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see how there's a beauty. I can see how there'd be a beauty for trade, or uh, people think there'd be a beauty. Um, yeah. Do you think? Th- oh. I find it almost ironic how it starts with Owen as a child does has no Christmas, and then later on in the book, John's talking about how in his later years he like despises mm. Christmas and wants nothing to do with it. He's like, after that Christmas of 53. Well, 
it, it just ruined it. And it goes from being not having any Christmas to being Christmas with both these plays and yeah. all of that, and then them not going as planned, you know, especially when he's trying to take over certain like the pageant, then I can see why you'd hate Christmas. Alright, so, um, I kind of want to go earlier into the book, like way early, like page 50, 60, That's where he gets the armadillo from Dan when Dan first meets okay. Johnny's mom. Yep. Mm. Yeah. There is some sort of significance behind that armadillo because oh, yeah, no, Johnny no. and Owen both love it. Even when its stuffing is gone, its eyes are missing, mm-hmm. its nose is frayed, it faded. They talked about it, it like came up again somewhere towards in this last chapter about how Owen had like the claws somewhere hidden in his room and he must have had the baseball hidden somewhere. What I think that mm. is though, like that offers truth to the story because that armadillo, like when you think about it, it's, it's <coughs> stuff is missing from it as... Johnny's mom is missing from his life right. now. Yeah, um, the family's missing. The family's missing exactly, and the Ooh. eyes, the eyes are missing too. Like there's no, no one to guide him. No there's, way no to one, there's no one to guide Owen or Johnny. Mm-hmm. All right, so this armadillo actually, I think, is a key part of this. I'm trying to understand this book. Right. Those two Why have do turned you think they the made the armadillo? Because the armadillo has a tough shell, and Johnny and Owen seem to be ignorant enough and have a tough shell that they don't really notice that. And they gotta have to have a tough. And the yeah, boy it's kind of, it's kind they of never really into, break down. Ever. Yeah, they don't. Just Owen like, never breaks down. He just keeps on chugging along. Yeah, he does. And he speaks the truth. Like he speaks his mind, yeah. no matter what. He's mm-hmm. probably gonna offend a heck of a lot of people, but he is true to his word. Like he he keeps constant. But the two have turned into the blind leading the blind, where it's just a guessing game. And well, I think it's interesting that Owen is like so. Like speaks his mind so much because remember like a couple discussions ago we were talking about how it's like like how does he how is he like he makes himself so loud even though he's so small and everyone always mm-hmm. like makes fun of him mm-hmm. partially his voice but yeah yeah you know like it's just how he is he has to be that way whose room it are the closet and he's Owens Owens all right that makes sense because Owen doesn't care what he says and his thing oh <laughs> his um. His his words will offend people and they will hurt people, but he's got the, he has it's his defense. The claws are his defense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think I think objects have been also a big part of this book. I think that we may, we may have overlooked so far in our conversations, because um, because <laughs> I think also going back to the baseball and it was mentioned again, and that's kind of what's connecting all these chapters to uh, you know to what he's looking for, which we talked about last time. That he's looking for who his father was and, you know, connecting to his mother's he's death. He's looking for a new sense of family now that he lost right. the very little part of it which he had. had. It was his mother. And, and there was that part where the officer that was at the baseball game walks in and he, like, describes as if that officer's sole reason for coming to this uh, Christmas carol, I think, was well, not the pageant. No, um, it was, he went to the... Um, Christmas carol. Oh, you're talk- I thought you were talking about when he showed up at the funeral and his sole mm-hmm. his sole reason was to look when he was at the play, game. and well, right that that that's the connection because yeah, Johnny's thinking like oh he's got to be looking for the baseball, but then he shows up to this play and Johnny still thinks that that he's at the play looking for the baseball. It's kind of like a weird thing where it's natural because he's young, he can't like let it go, but it naturally comes back to him, and I feel like that is an underlying theme that kind of gets pushed aside by all the adventures they have Owen and Johnny. Have. I think the baseball is kind of important. They seem like they're older than they are. Like, True. especially Owen says a lot of stuff that's a lot past his age. Random too. Yeah, it's it's in like little spurts. Mm-hmm. I think that's beautiful. I think part of it's accredited to his uh, love of religion and whatnot. What? <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Would Religion's- you guys like to talk about? Oh, we're not done talking about that. Go ahead, go ahead. Alright, would you guys like to talk about how uh, Miss Wiggins is her name? Miss Barb? Barb Barb Wiggins, yeah. yeah. How she kind of like. Barb, yeah, Barb. Barb. How like when Owen's all tucked into the little crib because he's the baby Jesus. Oh my god. Uh, How is she kind of invokes him? Yeah. The the whole record. And he pops one. Oh, Oh, yeah, he he pops one. That's really weird. Yeah. yeah, that's a little, un- a little but uncomfortable. But like, no, no, that's that's a, that's an important part. It was interesting. I, I don't I don't understand.